So in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint this laser cut. This is a rooster. Uh, so you in your kit, you're going to get some paint, you'll get the laser cut pieces, and you'll get a couple brushes. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart. I'm actually going to paint with the red first, and I'm going to paint the top here. And we don't have to paint the whole thing, we just need to paint just the three little, and it comes down a little bit. Just like that. And actually, I'm going to paint the heart too, so because it's the same color, so I'm going to use the heart. Dip it in there. I'm actually going to paint the outside of it too. Just around the edge. And I'm going to set that to the side to dry. Um, the next thing I'm going to paint is the white, which I'm just going to grab a bigger brush. And so the white, we need to paint the body of the rooster and his feathers here. I'm going to dip my paint in there. We'll probably do a second coat on the body of the rooster because it is white. And I am going to just do the edge. So you can just run your brush along the outside. You don't have to do the bottom of it because nobody will see it. So now, as you can see, this kind of sits on top there. So you want to make sure that you paint enough of the white in here. So we're just going to Now it doesn't take long for this stuff to dry, so while the white is drying, we can uh, redo the red. And make sure you actually close your lids so that um, you don't they don't spill on you. I'm just going to close my white. I'm going to actually touch the edges first. Just run your brush along the outside edge. And now that's all we're doing for the red so we can throw that in the water and rinse it off. Now we can take another brush and we are going to paint the feet and the nose. Uh, it's going to be mustard. And 
I too am going to paint the outside of the feet with the mustard. And you just kind of turn your brush on an angle. set it down. Maybe painting the The outside edges also of the nose. Okay, just gonna wipe my hands here. I'm gonna close that up. And now my body is dry. I'm going to give it another coat with the white. Just going to do the outside edge. Just want to smooth it out so you don't have a bunch of thick paint on there. Dries quicker when it's thin. Okay, and then I'm just going to do it here. could probably just go right across there. Okay, I got a little bit of white on my heart, but that's okay. I can touch that up after. So now we're going to put another coat on our feet and our beak. Move that out of the way so we don't get any paint on it.
might be a good idea to if you have um, something you can set your painted pieces on instead of brown paper because the paint sticks to the brown paper so if you have some paint sticks something like that or pieces of wood and then it won't stick to the I've got it on brown paper okay so that'll be it for the mustard I'm just going to rinse my brush off because now we have the base where the base is we're going to paint it this it's a dark brown so just wash your brush off and then wipe off the excess if you have a rag or a piece of paper towel probably only have to do one coat of this Okay, we're going to let this dry and I will come back and show you how to glue it together. Now that we got everything second coated and ready to paint, uh, there's one other thing we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit of shading around the outside of the body and the feathers here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your brush, dip it into the color oakum and then we're going to take most of it off. So we're basically going to have a dry brush and we're just going to highlight the edges of the feathers. This just adds a little bit of depth into the rooster. We're going to do it right around the whole rooster. And you see we, can, we only have to dip in once and we should have enough paint on our brush. I'm going to dip in a little bit again. Just a little bit more I'm going to add. Okay. Now we're going to take the back of our uh, paintbrush. We're going to dip it into our the oakum dab a little bit off and we're going to use this to put the make the eyes so we're just going to color in the eyes you can either do it this way or you can take a felt marker and dot in the eyes just like that and then wipe that off okay now we're going to make sure we put the paintbrush in the water close the lid so we don't have an accident and now i must have got a little mark on there we're going to glue the pieces together. So I usually use a paintbrush and some glue, just some white glue, and just outline the outside of the body. Doesn't have to be perfect anywhere. Oops. in there. There. 
Now we're just going to line it up. And that looks lined up pretty good. You're going to leave a little bit of an edge here because that's where it's going to stand. Oops, I got a little bit on. I'm going to touch that up with some white. I'll get this painted up here first, or glued up here first. Now the feet, I'm actually going to put them so that they're kind of sticking out on the outside edge. Just want to make sure you have clean hands when you're going to be gluing. So I'm just going to You'll see the outline of the nose. Should go like there. And the heart, I'm just going to put in the center. And you can place the heart basically wherever you want. Okay, and then it should just fit right into the base. I might have a little bit of paint in there. There we go. There. And there's our rooster. And I will touch up with some white paint there and on the top. Thanks for watching.